Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Bri here. Welcome back to Re Vlog. So for today, I thought I would do an updated Q and A since there are like some new people here to the channel. So that's what we're gonna do. If you like these kinds of videos, then um, give this video a thumbs up if you like it. Um, if you have any ideas for any other kinds of videos you want to see here on the channel, then leave them in the comments down below and maybe I'll do your idea, never know. So, without further ado, let's get into the updated Get to Know Me. So, the first question for this updated Get to Know Me is, how old am I? I am 26 years old, and I will be 27 in March. If you guys are wondering what I'm covered in, um, my grandma got me this Beauty and the Beast blanket for Christmas, I think, last year. There's Beast. <laughs> Part of the rose. So... That's what I'm sitting here. I'm sitting here on my desk chair all cozy up with a blanket because it's a little chilly, but um, I at least I'll have the blanket to keep me warm. So, yeah. So, the next question is, what is my favorite movie besides Beauty and the Beast? Well, for those that know me, Beauty and the Beast is my top number one favorite movie, but... If I had to choose another movie besides Beauty and the Beast, I think it's in between Nicholas Sparks' The Longest Ride and Safe Haven, which is also by Nicholas Sparks. But if I had to choose between either The Longest Ride or Safe Haven, I think I would choose The Longest Ride. I really like that one. That's another one of many <laughs> Nicholas Sparks movies that I enjoy watching. Um, and also, if you haven't already, Nicholas Sparks is my favorite author. I am a total dork when it comes to his books. I have all of his books. So, I'm kind of a book nerd. <laughs> um, speaking of books, my upcoming book, I Am Worthy, is coming soon to Amazon. So, keep your eyeballs peeled for that. Um, because I will be making an announcement video when the book is done. It is not done yet. Um, but when it is, just keep your eyeballs peeled for that video. Um, another question, um, is, if I could travel anywhere in the world, where would I want to travel to? I think, um, let's see. Well, I went to Punta Cana when I was 14 years old. I've been to Disney World in Florida twice. Um, let's see, I traveled not too far in the U.S. The only furthest to have been is, like, Minneapolis, Duluth, that's about it, Wisconsin, maybe. Um, but if I could travel anywhere in the world, I think I'd want to go back to Prince Edward Island. I went there in the summer of 2017 with my father's mom. She took me and my cousins, and we went to visit my aunt and uncle and cousins that lived down there. It was such a beautiful trip. If I remember, I will try and include some photos of that PEI trip in this video as well. Hopefully, fingers crossed, I remember. Um, anyways, moving along. Um, am I in a relationship? Um, yes. For those of you that are brand new to my channel, I did a quick summary of my renewed relationship if you guys want to check that video out i'll have it linked down below um i met my new partner we've been together for almost three months best three months of my life um for those of you that do not know um some do some don't um i actually was engaged once upon a time but that relationship didn't quite work out it was just wasn't meant to be so that's okay. But I'm happy to say I found the love of my life and I've never been so happy in my life. Another 
question I get asked a lot is if you could be any character besides Belle from Beauty and the Beast, who would you want to be? I think I want to be maybe Ariel from Little Mermaid. I think that'd be cool. And all swimming under the sea, you know, kind of thing. Maybe, I don't know. That's a tough one. That's a tough one. Um, favorite memory growing up. My favorite memory growing up was um, when I was little, my aunt lived in Kenora, which is like roughly seven hours-ish away from where I live. And my grandma always took me and my cousin Pepsi. I nicknamed my cousin Pepsi because he used to drink Pepsi all the time when we were kids. That's all he ever was drinking was Pepsi, 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 Pepsi. So I call him Pepsi, but his real name is Tyler, but I call him Pepsi. So anyways, um, my grandma would take me and my cousin Pepsi on the Greyhound bus and we would go to Kenora. We had so many fun adventures going to Kenora, you guys. It was like a blast. Um, one of the favorite memories, and I also mentioned this in, the book, in my upcoming book, um, we would go to the Winnipeg Zoo a lot, and there was this elephant named, I think her name was Limba, and she could eat jelly beans because they were her favorite treat, and as a kid, that just blew my mind away, like, how many could they really, and dang, just thinking about it, I'd be like, that would be a lot of jelly beans. I mean, think about it like, what? But, um, yeah, anyways, another question I get asked a lot is, am I an only child? Um, yes and no. Um, I might have half siblings from my dad. I'm not really sure. I don't want to get into that. But I have two stepsisters um, one is 21, no, one I think is 20 and then the other one's 23, but I guess you can call me the oldest, I guess. Um, but yeah, I have two stepsisters and they are amazing. Um, another question I get asked a lot is where do you see yourself in five years? Well, I hope to be having, starting a family with my partner that I'm currently with, maybe get engaged, who knows what life has in store for me. Life is really interesting, you guys. It's an interesting roller coaster. It has like many ups and many downs, and it's just a ride of a lifetime, I guess, lol. Um, another question I get asked often is, do you want children, and if so, how many? I do want kids. Um, I don't know. Um, I think someone asked me that a long time ago, and I was like, well, I don't know. But I think to summarize my answer, I think I'm going to say as many as the good Lord will let me have. So, we will see. Um, question is, speaking of kids, have you ever had a pregnancy scare? Yes, I have. Um, I've had one a couple weeks ago where I thought I was because I was having, um, some, a little bit of bleeding down there and I was like, what the heck is going on? For all you ladies out there, yeah, yeah that, that, that time of the month is not fun. Mm -mm. I used to nickname whenever my period came, I'd always nickname it Satan because it felt like Satan had entered my body and it'd be like, rah. <laughs> but, um, anyways, I, ha anyways, going back to what I was saying, I had a little bit of bleeding and I was like, what the heck? I had, don't get one and a period anymore because I'm on the pill, you know? And I got scared and I took a test and it said negative. So I was like, okay. It's not the time. This is not God's timing, and that's okay. I am okay. I do want kids, just not right now. Um, maybe in three, four years. Never know. But um, yeah. Another question is what and the and the what culture am I? Can't say the word ethnicity. Ethnicity. I think I said it right. I probably butchered that wrong. Anyways. I'm a quarter Chinese, and when people, when I tell people that, they're like, what? You're a quarter Chinese? You don't look Chinese. 
I know, well, yeah, I'm only a quarter and I get it from my paternal side of the family. My paternal grandmother was from Singapore, but she was originally born in China, but she got adopted by a family in Singapore and she just spent the rest of her life in Singapore until she met my paternal grandfather about 51 years ago. They were married for 51 years. Um, unfortunately, my paternal grandfather passed away, or my grampy as I call them, passed away back in March at the loving age of 97. So, it's been a rough year. And on Monday, I'm... We are having my aunt, my auntie Kathy's funeral as she passed away literally a month ago. It doesn't feel like it. Like, what the heck? Um, grief is an interesting roller coaster ride, too. Some, you have good days and bad days and days where you feel like, bleh, you know, so. Yeah, well, I hope I answered most questions. If you guys have any other future questions for me for future Q&As, feel free to leave them down in the comments down below. Um, but yeah, that's it for today's vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed getting to know me a little bit more. Um, if you enjoyed this video, give this video a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I dare to be different, and I dare you guys to be different too. Catch you guys in the next vlog. Bye, guys.